In this short tutorial, we're going to take a close look at a handy online tool called remove.bg. As it says here, you can remove a background image automatically in five seconds without a single click. And that is a pretty accurate statement. Let's take a look at how it works. So here I am just on remove.bg, and I'll click select a photo. And now I just need to navigate my computer and find a photo. So on my desktop of my computer, I have a folder with some images of animals. And I'll just select that. And I would like to try this image of an eagle. I would like to see if remove.bg will take out the blue sky in the background. That way, I could insert the image of the eagle into a slides presentation or a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document, and it would look really good. So let's try it out. I'll just select that image, click Open, and it's working without any clicks on my part. It's working to take out the background. Now, it does not work every time. I've noticed that images with complicated backgrounds, sometimes it just fails to work. But let's take a look at what we have here. The results look pretty good. So at this point, I can just click Download, and it puts a copy on my computer. I can then click on it to open it up, and you can see the blue background is completely gone. So let's look at how that would look in, let's say, Google Slides. Now, of course, in PowerPoint or in Microsoft Word, it would look similar, but I'm just gonna add a blank slide, and on this blank slide, I will insert an image. I'll upload it from my computer. I could just click and drag to bring it in, but it downloaded to my downloads, and here it is. There's the image. Looks beautiful, and it doesn't have those annoying rectangular backgrounds that you often see when you pull in an image from Bing or from Google Images and put it into your slide. Let's try one that's a little bit more complicated. I'm just gonna browse up to the top again and click Select a Photo. I'll go to that same Animals folder, and this time I'll try this image here. The background is a lot more complicated. So let's try it and see how it goes. Once it's selected, remove.bg goes to work trying to erase the background, and again, it did a marvelous job. I'll download that eagle as well. One more try. I'll click Select a Photo again, and I'll pick what might be the most complicated background, and let's try this one. Okay, it still worked great. Now from time to time, you won't be completely happy with the results. In those cases, click here on Edit, and look at the editing options that they give you. They're really pretty good. There's a Background tab that you can use to put the background back in. You can change the background, make it more blurry, even blurrier. I'm just going to X out of that to get back to the image without the background. I like that better. And then I'll go back into Edit to show you that in addition to those changes and some other changes down here that you can try, there are some coloring options that you can try. And then here in the upper right, there's a tab that says Erase Restore. So let me give you an example of when you would use this Erase Restore option. Let's say remove.bg didn't completely erase the background. Maybe there's something left over that should have been erased that hasn't been. I'm wondering about this area here. I wonder if that's part of the background or if that's part of the eagle. Let's pretend like it's part of the background. Well, I can use this Erase button and change the brush size to be smaller and then just click and drag. I know it's probably hard to see my mouse but you can click and drag to erase more of the image. Now it's possible that as you do that, you make a mistake. Oh my, that's a pretty bad mistake. Well, I can just go here to restore and I can increase in this case the brush size to make it a little easier and quicker for me. And look at that, I can bring back the eagle's face. So this is a way to touch up the results in remove.bg and see if you can make them better. If you make a mistake, you can just click undo or redo. Once you're done, just click download and it downloads the image to your computer and then you can go ahead and do what you need to do with that image. Whether it is uploading it into Google Slides or inserting it into PowerPoint or Word or Publisher, whatever you want to do. But there are the three images that I have removed the background out of them. Before I end this tutorial, I do want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon $5 supporters. I really appreciate you supporting my channel. So a big thank you to Sharman Natoli, to Mahela Nagina, and Kurt Toppel. I really appreciate your support and also the support of my $1 Patreon supporters. Thanks to you as well. Thanks for watching this video. 
I hope that you found it to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please consider supporting me through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. Mm -hmm.